Hey guys, welcome back to The No. I'm James Willems. I'm Liz Willems. And we're your first married news team. Um, we, yeah, I know, and right? We're married to Joel, though. We'll see how it goes once this episode's over. We may not be married anymore. Um, we thought about opening this with some kind of butt pirate reference, but that seems a little too easy, don't you think? Uh, yeah, instead, let's just get right into it. Lawrence? Yeah, the days of free games on PC may be numbered, what? according to the founder of Chinese cracking group 3DM. No. Oh no, I love trusting the information from Chinese cracking groups. I love 311. <laughs> <laughs> Bird Sister, or Phoenix, as they're also known, predicted that according to current trends in the development of encryption technology, in two years' time, I'm afraid there will be no free games to play in the world. According to a translation by torrentfreak.com. <laughs> What's the reason for this bleak outlook, James? Well, in this instance, it's de nouveau, a relatively new form of anti-tamper technology that has been causing crackers and hackers headaches for just over a year. Hey, that's racist. This software made headlines when it protected Dragon Age Inquisition from piracy for about half a month. That might not sound so impressive, but when most games are cracked in a matter of days, de nouveau starts to look like some real hot shit. Yeah, yeah, uh, half a month in PC time is like, like what, like eight years? Yeah, it's about a decade. It's a really long time. Uh, so how does it work, Lawrence? Uh, well, nobody knows. That's kind of the point. If uh. people knew how it worked, they'd be able to circumvent it pretty easily. Hmm. The company hasn't explained exactly how the anti-tamper software works, because then if they did, they would lose their jobs. Mm -hmm. uh, however, people have circumvented it in the past. 3DM specifically, that Chinese Kraken group we talked about, claims to have first broken de novo anti-tamper on Dragon Age Inquisition, on December 1st, 2014. Well, and also according to 3DM, Denuvo uses 64-bit encryption combined with a series of encryption keys generated by the combination of hardware and a given user's computer. And if that's the case, it makes sense why Denuvo would be so hard to circumvent. Yeah, yeah, this all sounds like basically what I had to go through to get into Elisa's chastity belt. Uh, it's rusted, by the way. <laughs> Not only would you need to reverse engineer the encryption keys for a given system, but then also reverse engineer the process by which those keys were generated. It's a double reverse engineering that only Keanu Reeves can figure out. <laughs> Is that like a double negative? Like it, it's easy, it uncracks itself? It's a, it's it's a, a Keanu reverse engineering. Oh God, it's a quadruple negative. Uh, furthermore, de novo is continuously updating and tweaking, meaning that even if you figure out the system for one game as 3DM did for Dragon Age, the next iteration may be completely different. And that's why uh, 3DM founder Bird Sister is a little down on the future of piracy. Oh, yeah. poor piracy. Poor little bird. <laughs> um, specifically, 3DM is currently grinding away on Just Cause 3 and not having much success. Uh, Bird Sister recently provided an update on the cracking efforts, saying that the last stage is too difficult and June, one of the cracking guys, nearly gave up. But last Wednesday, I encouraged him to continue. Man, they're piracy pioneers. <laughs> uh, but as it stands, 3DM is still working on Just Cause 3, which is a phenomenal amount of time given the game released only a month ago. Yeah, yeah, which again, in PC terms, is 10, 10 11 years. So what's going to happen if 3DM is right and piracy completely goes away? Lawrence, do you know? Well, first off, there are a couple of reasons why that may not happen. Uh, right now, Denuvo isn't used in many games, reportedly due to its cost. Only eight games have used the anti-tamper system, and all of them are from major publishers that have the sort of bank accounts to afford that kind of protection. So even if Denuva does become an all-conquering anti-piracy system, not everyone will be able to afford it. The sad part is that means that only smaller games become pirated. Uh, you know, the garage yeah. developers, they got it coming because they can't afford anti-piracy. That's kind of shitty. Ironically, the big guys can afford to have their games pirated. It's the small guys who really take a hit from it. But hey, Chinese people want their free games. Uh, <laughs> Aside from that, de novo themselves admit that all protection is eventually circumvented. Uh, I quote, Every protected game eventually gets cracked, de novo admitted to Eurogamer. Uh, it's only a matter of time and the inevitable march of technology. Yeah. Uh, and in two years, de novo may be uncrackable, but ten years past that and computers will be so advanced it won't be hard to crack that encryption wide open. Right, Joel? I guess, whatever, who cares? He's not paying attention. An Enigma machine looks like a baby's toy compared to the encryption we use now. It's only a matter of time until the most sophisticated encryption we have now becomes a shitty decoder ring. Uh, but let's say it does go away, there's no more piracy, and the world becomes a happy place. Right? Uh, right? Yeah. Everyone loves happiness. Lawrence, does, does no piracy make people happy? Uh, <laughs> well, no. Happy. Not really. Uh, I'm sure it would make publishers happy because they would lose an excuse, but. Uh, so there are a couple of implications if somehow all software became completely locked down. Yeah, yeah, all you teenagers out there with an internet connection and base levels of computer literacy would lose free games. 
I'm not crying too much for you guys, go get a job. Uh, there are more serious implications, though. Uh, the game's preservation community has serious concerns about this sort of thing. DRM could potentially mean that games will be unplayable after a certain amount of time once DRM authentication services go away. Uh, yeah, and if, for example, if your game reaches out to an authentication server before it runs, what happens when that server goes offline for good? Mag. Sorry, Mag. Yeah. Everybody loved Mag. I mean, it is a kind of weird thing to think about. There are games that are going to be unplayable because they're multiplayer only or something. Like, what's going to happen to... City of Heroes! City of, poor City of Heroes. Um, We're begging you. Joel needs his heroes. Yeah, but another, another question is, what about all those games that you're buying digitally through Steam, Xbox Live, and the PlayStation Store? How do you play those once those storefronts go away, you know? PlayStation may not be around forever. Ah, don't hit me! Bob already <laughs> said you could download them if they, if they ever went away. I'll tell you That's how. what they said now, but what about in 10 years? Oh. Piracy is how we're gonna Piracy do it. Piracy is okay. how. And if anti-tamper software is getting to the point where crackers can't reverse engineer the encryption, a time may come when we rise up and a game is rendered unplayable because the means to decrypt it have disappeared. Well, I guess that's we didn't not really us rise rising up. up. That's no. us getting pushed down. <laughs> pushed away, pushed down. Ooh. Yeah, uh, with any luck, this whole issue will completely run its course. Maybe if anti-tamper software is able to completely lock down a game, publishers will lose the ability to blame piracy for decreased sales. Uh, what's an example of this, Lawrence? So, Just Cause 3, specifically. It has yet to be cracked, and according to Steam Spy, it sold about 400,000 units through Steam so far. And there are a lot of factors that influence sales, but this seems pretty on the money for a PC release on Steam, even if it's been cracked. Mm -hmm. So that doesn't seem to me that Denuvo has converted a lot of would-be pirates into paying customers because the sales aren't significantly higher. So we don't have all the data to make an accurate comparison there, but publishers do. They get all that sales information, so it's entirely possible that after using Denuvo on all these titles, publishers will see that it doesn't actually convert a large number of sales. Or to put it in business speak, the Nuvo may not be worth the investment, or they won't get a return on investment for the money they spend on the protection software to make it worth it. Do you think that De Nuvo is going to pay uh, the Chinese hackers to try and hack their software so they can double pirate back on their game to make their software look even better by making it look bad? It's a hack off. It's a hack off. You just go home and then you hack off all Yeah, night. you put on some, uh, light some candles and you just hack off all yeah. night. And if that happens, we have to believe that big publishers will do what's right for business and just walk away from overbearing anti-tamper copy protection. It'd have to be really right for business, though, because, like, yeah. there's a lot of businesses that keep doing business when they shouldn't be doing business, even though the business yeah, is business. Yeah, that business. Yeah. Uh, it might just be rough for a few years for yeah. Chinese cracking groups before that actually happens. Yeah, so uh, take, take some time today to support your local Chinese cracking hacking group. Um, they need your support now more than ever. Don't you think of the crackers? Release the crackers! That's racist. <laughs> hey guys, I'm James Holmes, and welcome back to the now. I'm Lisa Holmes. Oh, let's see. Uh, yeah, instead, let's just get right into it, Lawrence. Yeah, the the. the uh. Yeah, so the, the days of free games on PC may be numbered. What? Yeah, at least that's according to the founder of a Chinese crack, cracking group. Three, uh, let me start. That. He doesn't know what he's talking about. I don't even know what I'm talking about. I used to get thrown to that early. I was all asleep. Yeah, the days of. Uh, top gun from the top. Top gun from the top. From the top. What did you do? To I was reading the script. <laughs> Sorry for being a professional. We don't read scripts here. 